Steve. I'm blind. And I'm in Montreal. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. Those of you who may not know uh, why I'm in Montreal, I'm actually here to go to Ubisoft. They are the makers of Assassin's Creed, more recently Assassin's Creed Origins, and they also made Assassin's Creed Black Flag, which is really cool. They invited me, along with three other people uh, in the accessibility gaming community, to come up and basically talk to their teams to be able to develop tools for accessibility like within their games, in their upcoming games for the next couple of years. So this is really, really cool. It's a really huge honor. I'm gonna try to like, vlog as much as I can. I'm terrible at this. I apologize if there's not really a lot of footage I can really show, but I'm gonna try to at least talk to camera uh, about my experience uh, as fr when it's fresh in my mind. And I think I need a coffee. And there's an espresso, an espresso, I'm sorry, George Clooney, an espresso machine right there. I'm gonna attempt to make an espresso. Of course, the instructions are all in French. Times like these, I wish I paid attention more in grade nine French. And then that, I think. Dear sweet baby Jesus, that's loud. Holy, holy crap, that was loud. Now, I guess I gotta wait to do it again. I don't know. All the instructions, there was nothing else in there. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know how to do this thing. Screw it. Okay, so it's the morning of uh, day two. Couldn't really show much yesterday, um, but one thing I did learn from yesterday, get myself an actual coffee this time. <laughs> so, mm, oh yeah, I like iced coffees. I don't mind regular coffee, but iced coffees, even in the winter, it's just, it's nice to have. Day one was fantastic. I got to basically meet, the other accessibility advocates that I haven't, I've met online, but I haven't met in person before. So there was uh, Ray Thompson, or uh, commonly known as Cherry. Uh, she uh, is, um, has cognitive and uh, mobility and autistic um, dis disabilities. And then there was Josh Straub. Um, he has, um, I believe, uh, muscular dystrophy. Sorry, Josh, if I'm getting this incorrect, uh, incorrect. I know there's a long technical term for what he has. Um, but uh, he's also in a wheelchair and has mobility uh, disability. And then there's uh, Chris, uh, who is a deaf gamer. And then there was me, as the blind gamer. And so we were basically kind of brought into the Ubisoft offices and we got to talk to a lot of the teams that were there um, about what they're working on. I can't, because of an NDA, I can't say what they're working on. Them asking, like, like basically asking us what are our barriers for uh, playing uh, their games. And we got to tell them sort of like in very detail of like, this is like doing this was hard for me to be able to do. And, um, and I actually got to pre present that to the team and they were like furiously taking notes and, and they were asking us questions. Like there was things that I thought about like since I was like 12 years old essentially, of like things I would love to be able to see in video games but it would never, never actually happen. And to fast forward a couple decades later, um, and be, sit and be sitting in a room filled with gamers, essentially, because they all grew up as gamers, and they're talking about things that I talked about as a kid and that they're seriously gonna be looking into implementing into their upcoming games so that the next generation of gamers that are like myself that are not able to play because of blindness or other gamers that are not able to play because of their mobility or that they're because they're deaf, like, that is amazing that the sort of Ubisoft has sort of taken this chance uh, and 
really pushing this forward um, in, in accessibility that I haven't seen before. Um, this is my first time in consulting, so I don't know what other developers have been like. I would love to be able to do more. Developers, if you're watching this, I would love to be able to um, chat with you. And uh, uh, I may not have time to be able to chat with everybody, but I would love to be able to chat with uh, as many people as I can. But it's really, it's really, really cool. Now, day two is going to essentially kind of be most of the same. Um, it's just a few more workshops with a few other development teams, and then uh, kind of going from there. So uh, I'm just going to finish up my coffee and. Uh, Head on out, because, yeah. <sighs> okay, so I'm back home from, it was an amazing trip. I apologize, it was mostly just shot in a hotel room. Uh, you didn't really get to see much of Montreal or even the Montreal office. Uh, to be honest, it, it you wouldn't really have been able to see much. It was mostly, we were just in a conference room pretty much the entire time. I just wanted to say that that trip was absolutely amazing. I made some really good friends with uh, uh, the three other uh, accessibility advocates there, Ray, Chris, and Josh. They were absolutely cool to be able to hang out with. Um, and then David Tesseran, who is the uh, accessibility head at Ubisoft Montreal. Um, he actually is was the one who kind of brought this all together. Um, so I want to thank Ubisoft for bringing me and us out to their offices to be able to chat with all their teams. It was absolutely amazing. 